What's up you guys? It's Giano! I'm at my house right now. I'm getting ready to go over to this EX raid. I do have an EX raid, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm just like, let me catch this Meditite real quick. I got that, uh, I got that research. You guys, there's all new research in the game. There's research in the game. There's new research, so I don't know what any of the what any of the rewards are. So I'm just like, I gotta catch this thing. So anyway, I'm getting ready for my EX raid. I said I wouldn't do any more, but I do have a little bit of extra free time. I should note for all of you guys that uh, the job that I was going to didn't work out. It wasn't really right for me. It was kind of a dead end for me personally. So uh, I was like, you know what? I'm better off just putting the time into my own channel, not somebody else's channel. It doesn't really make any sense. I'd rather be here hanging out with you guys. So yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a better fit for me to just work from home and do my own channel and do my own business and work on wifey's business and all that stuff. So anyway, I am gonna have a lot more free time to do my EX raids, which I do have have an EX raid. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's about to start. Actually, this thing is just about to start in like one minute. So that is actually kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and invite a Voli just for fun. Uh, this event has already started. Can't invite while the event has started. Okay, well, uh, that, that was really strange. I did not expect for that to happen. It literally just started. Like, I literally just missed that by like a minute, by like a second. I mean like, oh man, that's so ridiculous. Anyway, I was gonna invite a bully. I'm sorry, a bully. I can't invite you anymore. Anyway, you guys, uh, what I'm about to do is drive over to the park and do my first ever attack type Deoxys Raid. So let's get started. All right, you guys, we made it to the park. The raid has already started, but I'm not worried about it. I have heard that you can solo this raid. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do today. I'm going to attempt the solo uh, if I, well, if I can. I mean, if there's people there who need me to raid with them, I'm obviously gonna raid with them, but we may try to do a solo attempt and uh, just do this thing solo. I'm not sure. But uh, if I can and I'm not, you know, like cheating somebody else out of their Deoxys, then I'm definitely going to do that. But your boy Jono's a team player. If somebody needs me, you know, I'm going to check around, make sure everybody's good if I solo and then, you know, go ahead and do that. So let's walk over there. Let's get this raid done and let's catch the first ever attack style Deoxys on my channel. Let's go do it. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Here we are. My first solo attempt. I went with Legacy Mewtwo, Legacy uh, Gyarados. Also, Bite and Crunch on as many Tyranitars as possible. But I did want to try out my Legacy movesets. We got the Shadow Ball on Mewtwo, and then we also have got Bite and Crunch on Gyarados, and I think that that's pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to beat them with Pokemon like that, but I have powered those Pokemon up, so I'm hoping that they are a little bit useful. Bite Crunch Gyarados came from 22 Lightning, so thank you, 22. That's why it says 22 Bite Crunch. It's not 22%. <laughs> thank goodness, I think it got better than that. But uh, yeah, this dude's smacking me down pretty quickly. I did go with the Bite Fire Blast Tyranitar, because this one's pretty far powered up and it has bite which is super effective so i was hoping to get some serious damage off of that and i didn't have a better one the other ones were smackdown stone edge i wasn't sure if that was really going to get it without a super effective move so yeah i did go for the bite and fire blast on this one i don't know it's uh 
it's quite a bit of time on these legendary, or sorry, it's a mythic, it's a mythical encounter, so it does give you quite a bit more time, so we'll see if we can actually pull this off with the amount of time that's given. It's going to be a long while, we got a solid like three minutes to go, three and a half, so yeah, we're going to be here for a second, but I am doing a crazy amount of damage. If you look at the damage, I think I got this, you guys. I think I got this. I'm not going to call it world's first or anything like that. That's pretty clickbaity, but uh, it's my first. <laughs> I think I'm going to successfully solo on my very first attempt. Now, I do kind of like that I swapped out the recommended Pokemon because then when I go in with my second team, it'll be all the recommended Pokemon. Although I might heal all of my Tyranitars that have Bite Crunch because I'm pretty sure I'm going to rely on them to get through this by the end of it. We still have three minutes left, and we're below the halfway mark, so I feel like we got this. I definitely should revive my Bite Crunch Tyranitars. They're putting in work, and they're taking a lot of damage. The Gyarados took, like, two hits. That was not good. Gyarados didn't really work out. I like that it has a legacy moveset, swag, but it wasn't exactly effective. It wasn't that useful because it didn't stay in for very long. All right, bike crunch Tyranitar's working out my uh, working out my last little Tyranitar push here. I think we got this possibly with only one set of attackers. Bite crunch Tyranitar is definitely putting in the work. That's the one right there. I could even move change some of my Tyranitar's just to make sure they have bite crunch. Cause yeah, that. That's the one that really drained the health. And those Tyranitars can take a lot of hits. Okay, so we've we've fainted all of our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and just revive the Bite Crunch Tyranitars. Okay. And then we're gonna bring in those Bite Crunch Tyranitars again. And then just use them to finish up. Not bad. Not too bad at all. I think I'm going to complete it with a little bit of extra time, so not too bad at all. Unfortunately, I was not able to invite Evoli. Oh well. I thought it was kind of strange that it did not allow you to invite people once the raid has started, because you could legitimately just forget about it and then think that you had invited your friend, and what if they showed up at the raid and then you couldn't invite them? I don't know, I just thought that that was really strange. I hope they fix that. That seems wrong that you can't just invite your friend anytime. Oh well. Yeah, I completed this with a minute to spare, you guys, so I would consider this to be actually easy. I would consider this to be extremely easy. Had a whole minute to spare. I've had solo attempts on like Machamp that were harder than this. So yeah, pretty easy all around. That was fun. That was very fun. I like soloing raids. They'd call me weird, but I mean, I just like being able to solo a raid. I think that you should be able to solo a raid, especially on something as rare as an EX raid pass. They're very hard to get, and the idea that you have all these different factors that could keep you from completing them, it just bugs me. It shouldn't be like that. All right, let's see how we did on this guy. Gonna have to get the catch. Gonna have to smash that catch here. Maybe we'll catch it on the first ball. No, not today. This is a total waste of my silver pineapps, and they're really hard to come by, so I should stop wasting them and just throw regular pineapps. Hey, there we go. There we go. Nice. Very nice. I need to stock up on uh, Pokeballs, so I might do a couple of laps while I'm here. <laughs> we definitely got at least an 89%, and it could be higher than that. I'm going to have to run the IV you know, calculator on it and see what we have there. But that is amazing. Two perfect stats and one of them is attack, you guys. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go do some laps and spin some stops and then we will be right back, you guys.
All right, you guys, I'm just walking around here. And one thing I wanted to do on this video was get one of these ultra boxes because they do have a lot of items that I actually really want. And I need to grab some coins so I can do that. So let's load up some coinage. Now, I told you guys I'm limiting my spending on the game. Of course, you have to be reasonable with your spend on the game. But I thought, you know, today's a good day to stock up and grab a box. They have a good box in there. And I do want to hatch a bunch of these eggs. I'm like super stuck on eggs right now. I have too many eggs. Most of them are 5Ks. Got to get those things out of there. And they have all these extra bonuses during the extravaganza event, which you guys know I do love the extravaganza event. I personally feel like they took the name of my series. Did they low-key take the name of my series? You guys remember my really old videos where I used the name extravaganza? It's actually a reference to Shel Silverstein. I mean, throw it up to Shel Silverstein. You guys remember the, uh, you guys remember the books? What was the name of her book? I can't think of the name of her book something about where the sidewalk ends oh, it's called where the sidewalk ends right oh my god i laughed so hard at that book that i got kicked out of class one time uh, let's do story time for a second i'm like in sixth grade and me and my buddy are reading that book and like it's science class and like i don't even know why we were reading it and like we couldn't stop laughing so hard that we got kicked out of class and had to sit in the hallway wow jono wow maybe that's why i'm a youtuber today i don't know <laughs> anyway you guys um i am still here let's see uh let's go and buy that box i did want to smash on that box all right we got to get those 5ks out of here get them gone 5ks go be gone with you 5ks okay get those 5ks in incubators i like this box it has a lot of incubators which are like one of the most expensive items in the game and it does feel like they're giving much better rewards from eggs uh, within the last like six months than they did for like the previous two years of the game You know the game's been out for like two and a half years So yeah much better rewards now more perfect Pokemon better stuff So it does seem like it's a little bit more worth it to pay for the incubators now Versus when I got banned and restarted my account like basically six months ago So that's worth mentioning anyway, let's go and walk now that we got those eggs in some incubators Then uh, let's go walk him off uh, let's see. Oh, and also the Deoxys, you guys, the Deoxys, 96%, 96% Deoxys. It's got a 13 HP score. I could not be more happy that I got to come to this raid today. I'm so thrilled that I actually was able to make it to this raid. I just wish I could have invited a bully and got him his first Deoxys as well, but no biggie, no biggie. Uh, hopefully I'll get another EX raid pass and maybe I'll do that raid as well. Anyway guys, I'm still just walking. I'm gonna walk off those eggs and maybe we'll walk long enough to actually hatch those bad boys. Let's go find out. Check this out, you guys. I'm gonna catch a rare Pokemon right now. Also, it feels like I'm in an Anorith nest, but I'm pretty sure Anorith is just spawning because of the weather. And I'm actually in a nest for Starmie, or no, Staryu. So yeah, I'm not sure about that, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm in a nest for Staryu and there's Anorith all over because of the weather. But this is the Pokemon right here that I am so excited to catch. Let's grab this thing. These are rare. And uh, my good buddy RJ had one as his buddy recently, and I was like, where did you get that thing? And uh, he said that they're incredibly rare, so I've been waiting to get one. I insist on using Pokeball just because I'm like swag, but uh, like I probably should stop using the Pokeball. I was really impressed that it jumped out of a golden raspberry. You don't see that too often. So there we go, you guys, new Pokemon. I actually don't even know the name of this Pokemon. What is this thing? Uh, what are you? Finneon. All right, Finneon. And it evolves, which means that I need to get candies for it. Okay, good to know. 
My current buddy is Bronzor. I'm actually walking Bronzor to get the candies for that guy. So yeah, that's my current buddy. I like don't even have close to enough candies for any of the new Gen 4 Pokemon. So I'm just walking them here and there and trying to grab candies as much as I can. Anyway, we're almost done with our eggs. Eggs have almost hatched. So we're about to come back with at least one egg I'll probably do that on B-roll because it's just a crappy 2K. But once all those 5Ks go off, we are going to be back. So wait for that in just a second. Alright you guys, I walked over to my first raid of the day. We got a Shinx raid, so that means I am bringing out the Shiny Squad. This is my most recent six Shinies ordered from weakest to strongest. I'm gonna see if I can beat the raid with my Shiny Squad. Obviously, I can, all right, spoiler alert. You can beat it with very weak Pokemon. But yeah, I wanted to do this raid, see if we get that Shiny. Also, I'm walking off my eggs, so this was a little bit outside the park, and I figured it was good to take a little walk over here and just get those eggs to hatch a little bit faster. So we walked over here. Once those eggs are done, I am done for the day. We will bounce on out of here. I love using the shiny squad because you literally never use some of these shinies. Like, think about it. When are you going to use shiny snow run? You're not going to use that thing. So shiny squad is always fun when you're going against a shiny raid. It is a superstitious theory that you will get a shiny by using all shinies. That is my theory, okay? That goes hand in hand with the barefoot theory. All right, all obviously confirmation bias, unproven theories, but still we do them anyway just for the fun. All right, so let's get Alolan Raichu. Somehow I bought the extra move on Alolan Raichu and I don't remember doing that, you guys. I literally don't remember doing that. So yeah, I have no idea when I did that. So anyway, you guys, yeah, we beat the raid. Let's go see if we got the shiny. Please let it be my third shiny Shinx. It'd be so lit. Ah, oh, no, not today. 485, is that a big one? I don't know. Oh, well. All right, you guys, let's go back over to the park. We got eggs to hatch. I just wanted to get that quick raid in there. So we'll catch this Shinx and see if it's any good while we walk back over there. Uh, fun fact, you can actually walk pretty far away from the raids. You don't have to stay right under the raid. HP attack, how exciting. All right, you guys, we will be back. Woo, 7K. What? Okay, okay. I was hoping to get that on camera. Single 7K egg. It's just one egg. I do want to get a perfect Alolan Geodude, but that is not going to happen today. Let's go get some more eggs, but you can see we got 0.3 on these guys and they are just about ready to hatch so let me go ahead and go get one more egg from one of my friends yay friends all right let's go open this thing up usually you get an egg but sometimes you don't you have to open up a couple of couple of gifts so i usually just skip all of the items i just rush through them as fast as possible all right let's get from chloe i have not hit best friends yet with chloe we'll see if we can do that Come on now, let me get an egg. So close to best friends with Chloe. I can't wait for that. Crafty Snacks, another one that I'm close to the best friends with. Come on. Why can't I get an egg? See, sometimes it takes forever to get an egg. All right, I may have to come back. We'll do one more. Everywhere is. This is uh, one of my good friends. He walks at Southside with me usually, but he's not here today. And... Uh, Pretty sure that I got my shiny Pichu egg from him. 
which I was really happy about. Anyway, I'm gonna get an egg, but apparently not on video. Oh, Fleece King, Fleece King, come on, give me an egg. One of my favorite Pokemon players of all time, just a stand up dude, just a good dude all around. All right, you guys, well, no egg on this. We'll come back once I hatch the rest of those 5Ks. Hey, check it out, you guys. My eggs are going off here. Let's go see what we get inside of these things. Now, we are supposed to get double candies and double stardust. So, take a look at the top right of my screen, and you should see 3,200 dust and 42 candies. That is quite a bit of extra dust and candies. So, there we go. Hey, possible 98 Lickitung. Let's go. I should have done the star piece before I hatched these. I'm a fool, I totally forgot to do Star Piece. That would have been a very, very, very smart thing to do. Whoopsie, 1600 Stardust off of that one. Another possible 98% hatch. They're probably not. They could be 89 to 98%, but two perfect stats is very, very good. But you could have a 96% that only has one perfect stat. Think about it. So that's why it's hard to tell. That's why you still need the IV calculator to figure it out. I don't like using anything outside of the app, but you have to because otherwise you can't tell which Pokemon are good and which ones really aren't that good. So it's kind of a big deal. Anyway, oh, Croagunk. I have not hatched any of those. Come on, perfect. Come on, perfect. Come on, perfect. That is a lot of candies. You know what? We have a Lucky. I'm going to evolve the Lucky. We're going to evolve Croagunk on this video. We're getting a new Pokemon. We got two new Pokemon on this video. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Chikorita. That is a terrible hatch. Why would anybody want that? 1911 Stardust. And we still have more eggs. Let's go. All right. I think this is the last one, which is good because look at my phone, 15% battery. My camera is about the same, so we got to finish this thing up, you guys. 40 candies off of that. That was crazy. I might have to IV check that one. Oh my God, there are so many eggs right now. Okay, we got it. I think this is the last egg. So bad. There's nothing good in 5Ks. I'm, I, don't, I don't know why they're like making an event that features 5Ks. Anyway, I'll have to uh, IV check some of those guys and we are going to open up some gifts and hopefully get some eggs and uh, let's go find my Croagunk, my lucky Croagunk, because we now have enough candies to evolve this thing. So let's go ahead and do it. Anyway, I'm going back to the car, you guys. We are done for the day. Nice little daily adventure. It's been a while since I did one of those, but got a little bit of extra time on my hands so let's put it to good use it'll be fun to put some content on the channel anyway oh yeah i've never even seen this thing i did not even know what it looked like so there we go brand new pokemon and in case you didn't know pokemon with a 2018 badge on them do not have an increased chance to be lucky and i don't think that the pokemon with the 2017 badge have an increased chance to be lucky either anyway you guys i am out of here thank you so much everybody for watching thanks for my amazing subscribers and peace